What's up guys, Mr. Anderson336 here again. Uh, today I'm gonna show you a Tengay's spoiler! No, I'm just kidding. Well, it is kind of a spoiler, right? Anyway, map size is good. Make it a little too big, shall we? Okay, that's that's better. Type T44, Tengay's. Do I like this tank? No, I don't. Because I find it as a copy of the Russian version. And my equipment on this tank is uh, non-existing. I have no equipment on this tank. I have 2.23 uh, reload. And uh, yeah, on the 57mm gun. So first thing we will do is shoot this M3. The M3 Lee. We get two shots into him. Get three shots into him. And he will be our first kill. However, we are tracked. Which is okay because, well, no one is shooting at us. I think it was the M3 Lee who was shooting at us and actually tracked us. So, yeah, first kill. T14 will be our next victim. And you can see the fire rate of this thing. It's insane. Excel Visor, or whatever it's called. <laughs> Went to take the damage for us, which is good. Uh, we can fire him, uh, kill it. We can shoot at him without getting punished for it. And we just keep pumping this T14 full of shots, which is very nice. T34 from the side. Not gonna worry about him for now. Take this guy out. Now the Japanese heavy tank is eating our well, the premium tier five uh, British heavy tank. Which has we ha which has no chance against the uh, OI experimenting. Shoot him on the turret because that's the weakest part, or well, one of the weakest parts. I can't afford to get shot by him, and we get into cover before he do. So this tank is unequipped. No equipment on it at all, compared to my Russian T-34, and therefore it's handling a little worse. And therefore I was very surprised to get the tankies. They're my turn to kill their ex I don't I know that guy has a good amount of armor, so I'm gonna load the premium. Which I'm carrying ten off. Shooting right through his turret. Oh uh experimental. I don't really like him, just need to take him out. Can only be too slow at it. Let's 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 make him come forward to us, shall we? Goes forward. And we managed to take him out with a few good shots to his side. Anyway, the cap circle is the cap counter is going upwards. And I have no time for dealing with this AC2, so I'm just gonna rush for that cap. Uh I had a very, very weird week. I don't know about you, but uh, since uh, times three went up, my loser uh, I have only I have really only had losers, which is annoying me to an insane point. So, uh, don't want to lose this one. Going for the cap circle when I'm just de dealing with this with this M8 A1 tank destroyer tier four. Okay, one is the cap circle. He's not aiming his turret towards me. So I can get three shots through his front. He's not focusing me at all, which is just free damage for me. I bounce him. Okay, we won't soon dead. I shot more. We bounce, but well, the VK finish him off. I'm at five kills, and uh, yeah, the team we are, we are having a good situation here. If you remember, though, there was an AT on this tank, on on this tank, on this team, on the enemy team, and uh, I wasn't really done finishing him off when I left to cap the cap circle. I tried to track him. He take. He's using the howitzer and therefore doing high explosive damage. Really lucky he didn't track me. Okay, so this guy is coming for me. I need to go around the building to get his ass. Though with this gun, it is. Um, it's not. Sh I'm not sure if I can pin him. He's having 100 millimeters of armor around there, and I have 112 millimeters of armor. Armor penetration with these AP shells. Which is probably very, very bad, considering I used all of them on the Exovisor, or whatever that tank is called, and the OI. 
Anyway, this guy is not stupid. And the reason I say that is he is turning around to face me. I tried to shoot him on the side. Tried to track him. Didn't work either. He's coming forward. And the, the, it's around here I make the biggest mistake in my... Well, I make a, a huge nuke mistake. I was hoping I could hit his, his uh, Capola, but yeah, I messed up. Hoping the VK could go a little faster and maybe get the shot into his ass and kill him. But well, I I didn't deserve this win after that mistake. But my team did. My team secured the win, which is good. I, I was going insane because I wasn't winning any, anything, so yeah. <laughs> you get the idea. I mean, we're all playing to get the game to have fun, but there's no there's no fun losing, what, 10, 15 matches in a row? I don't know. But yeah, I don't find it uh, very entertaining to lose. No one does because we are competitive. Uh, as human, we are competitive. and uh, yeah. Anyway, the VK is a fucking rock star here and finish off the 82, which I failed to do. And I congratulate him in chat because... Not at this point, but you you always need to you always need to like what is it called boost your friend's morale, right? I mean, there's no reason not to. If he did a good job, then tell him in the chat because why not? And I'm even I'm I'm so tired of losing that I, I that I write to him and if I could give him a reward for what he did, I would be I would I would do it. Because I'm so in the League of Legends community, you have that uh, what is it called the honoring system. You don't have that in tanks, unfortunately. You have it in World of Warships, however. Anyway, VK finishing off this M7 priest, and he did it. So thanks, VK. Thanks, VK20. You made us. You made the. You secured the game. So, uh, yeah, thanks for that. And let's take a look at the post game stats. So, that was a tank ace, guys. We got Warrior, a Duelist, and Fire for Effect. I think it's Defender, together with the Top Gun. 47,268 uh, crits. 5,319 experience. 2,179 damage. 5 kills, 12, 1,181 um, experience. 45 shots fired, 29 hits, 40, well, 40 hits, 29 penetrations. Even managed to block something with our armor, and we got 100 de base defense points. Even though we fired a lot of premium, well, those 10 shots, which was 2,800 per shot, we still managed to earn 11,196. This was a time stream, and we earned a total of 5,319 experience on this tank, which was awesome. So anyway, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. You can always tune in another time. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want. Have a good day whenever you watch this. And remember to have fun in the games. That's why they are made. I'm Mr. Anderson. I'm out. Good.